Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to this week in the dunya. <laughs> the first bit of news. Trump calls Hillary and Obama the founders of ISIS. I call President Obama and Hillary Clinton the founders of ISIS. They're the founders. Now, this is really interesting considering the far right loves them so much and they are constantly bashing Muslims with this whole ISIS theme. Well, now considering your guy has just admitted that it was an American creation, are you still going to be blaming mainstream Muslims now? I think we as Muslims now need to be asking Americans to condemn ISIS. Do you condemn ISIS, brother? Do you condemn ISIS? Let's move on to the second bit of news. Facebook has sanctioned the page of the Prime Minister of Israel for violating its hate speech policy. My question here is because Facebook has dared to criticize Israel, does it mean now that they are anti Semitic? Because it seems like anyone who criticizes Israel is labeled as an anti Semite. The fact that nobody has criticized Facebook for being an anti Semite is a modern day miracle, mate. In fact, I'm quite impressed with Facebook. It seems Facebook has done more in the last month than the UN has done in the last decade. I think countries need to be going to Facebook more because it seems like they've got more clout than the United Nations. Number three, and this is my personal favorite, the CIA has admitted to using pigeons and dolphins and more as spies against the Soviets. I don't think anybody wanted to be in that branch of the CIA. Hey buddy, so uh, what branch are you in? I'm not your buddy and I'm in the Navy SEALs. What about you? I'm in the Secret Service. What about you? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. You, the guy, <laughs> the guy crying in the corner. What branch are you in? I, I'm, I'm in the pigeon branch. My teacher was right. She always said I would amount to nothing. All right, guys. The fourth bit of news: a Muslim American mayor was detained after he came with his family from Turkey for three hours, and his phone was taken for a good couple of weeks. The reason why this is very interesting is here you have somebody who has integrated into society, who's now made himself to be a productive member of society, helping others. All of this is happening to this guy. So what does that mean for the rest of us? I mean, you got people like Ilhan Umar who's literally bending over backwards, compromising her religious values and her identity to fit in. But even then she's being publicly lashed by the President of the US. All I'd say is when stuff like this happens, it doesn't really send a good message out for the rest of us. In fact, even in the UK, you had humanitarian workers who were detained for six hours, missing their flight and asked invasive questions under Schedule 7 of this whole anti-terrorism nonsense. When Trump has already admitted that ISIS was flipping created by his own lot. Why are those guys not being detained under Schedule 7? And Hillary Clinton admitted that they created the whole Taliban phenomenon as well, Al Qaeda. We had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. The people we are fighting today, we funded. 20 years ago. All right, the last bit of news in Quebec, which is a province of Canada, they fired two Muslim teachers for wearing the hijab. All right, so those teachers were practically showing restraint, modesty, religiosity in a time of promiscuity, shamelessness, and godlessness. Surely these people would be held as role models in the class, but no. Forget about all that. We just call some random woman in who's exposing her bits and bobs. But hey, she claims to be a feminist. Even though the women that are actually covering themselves up, going against the tide of society, they're the true feminists. Nah, forget about all that mate. Imagine when they tell that to their kids about why they've been fired. What are their kids gonna think? Yeah, I really wanna integrate into this country. I really wanna help it do well. Come on guys. Nah, I mean, 
What on earth is going on with these countries? Until next time guys. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>